title of this writing is Cocoon or Womb. It occurred to me one day that not only do cocoon and womb rhyme, they can be synonymous when it comes to hiding out. Trend analyst Faith Popcorn coined the term cocooning in the 1990s. It described the shift of people socializing less outside the home and making their homes more comfortable, like a cocoon. I think most people can relate to getting cozy at home, but some like me have made it into an art form. Like elevator riding, this has its ups and downs. The up is you get to become more comfortable in your own skin and don't need a lot of outside contact to feel alive. The downside is you miss a lot of the evolving world because yours has stopped turning. In and out is a game of balance. Leaning too much to one side or the other has you tip over, which can cause you to burrow deeper or forever chase the horizon. Either one of those options is the womb you're attempting to crawl back into. The good news is that you're not at the point of no return if you stop and recognize where you are. It's the recognition of your current geography that allows you to triangulate to a more balanced life. Seeking the womb is an attempt to avoid life rather than live it. Whether the womb you seek is inside or out, it's a pursuit that will keep you off balance and the safety you seek will always be out of reach. They can't hurt me in here, is the mantra of the womb dweller. Whether you're seeking your safety in numbers or whether you're attempting it home alone, it's a false sense of security that has you hear every bump in the night. You may not live on either of these edges, and that's to be applauded. My purpose is to point them out so that when you approach them, you only visit for a while and not put down permanent roots. All in or all out are not sustainable positions. They're filled with unrelenting tension to shore up your location, when what you really need is a wombless vacation. All the best, John.